So we're here today with Ms. Kaleli, the Director of Disability Service. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for meeting with me, Melissa. A lot of students had questions about what we do in disability services, so I'd like to answer them. My pleasure. So tell me what disability services does. We do a lot of things here in disability services, and we cover any student who has a disability, whether it's sensory, physical, uh, mental health, or learning disability. Things that we do for them, um, we give accommodations such as American Sign Language Interpreter, they can have a dog when they're testing and small group for testing. We also help them find a career that fits them best. Um, sometimes we have limitations or we have skills that help us. Uh, we're, we'll be better at some careers than other careers. We also do mental health counseling and we're also a big advocate for communicating with their professors. Um, if the student has a disability such as autism um, or Asperger's and they have, find it difficult to communicate with professors, we help them uh, with those skills. Okay, that's awesome. So tell me, will my transcripts show that I was part of disability services? Not at all. Okay, that's good to know. Mm -hmm. So will the other students in my classes know that I am disabled or part of disability services? No, we don't disclose any disability to anybody in the classroom. No students will know that the particular student has a disability. Once I become a disability services student, am I required to take all of my exams in disability services? Being able to take your exams in disability services is an accommodation. The student doesn't have to have that accommodation. If they want to test up here, they can, they're welcome to, but it's not a requirement. So once I submit my documentation to become part of disability services, who has access to my documentation? The employees up here in Disability Services do. Those documents are kept in a locked storage room at all times. We're the only ones who have access to those um, documents. Okay. Um, are my teachers made aware of my disability once I become a client of Disability Services? No. Under Americans with Disabilities Act, we cannot tell anyone what their disability is. All right. So how long do you keep my documentation after I graduate? Usually we like to give the documentations to the student upon graduation. If we're not able to do so, we keep those records between three and five years. If there's an appeal at any time while the student is here on, at CF, we have to keep it for five years. If there's no appeal, we can shred it at, at year three. Okay, that makes sense. So will my accommodations transfer with me when I leave CF? They can. If we give them their accommodations, they can give that directly to their new employer or their other college. Under Americans with Disabilities Act, those accommodations go with them wherever they go. Um, different institutions and different employers may give them different accommodations, but since they are under, um, since they are disabled and they're under Americans with Disabilities Act, no matter where they go, they have those same rights. Okay. Thank you yeah. so much for all the information and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you, Melissa.